When he comes to the tank, he'll, you know, swim up and wiggle his tail. So he kind of like food and attention, like, he's pretty playful. Comet's fish school is his buddy Brainiac. We call him Comet Sidekick. Brainiac is really not very smart. Uh -huh. He looks like he has a big brain, but I think it's all fat. Huh? He's not as smart as Comet is. The chief fish trainer rewards his four-inch employee with positive reinforcement, which means the clever comet gets food from the training wand whenever he completes a trick. I've never seen Comet not be able to do a trick. I'm sure if we did a really complicated trick, it'd be really hard for him to learn it, but he probably could learn it. Comet will do fetch just like dogs do. People don't think that fish have any intelligence whatsoever, and when you tell them that they can do tricks better than many dogs, it just, just floors them. With Comet, <coughs> Sporty Comet can complete nine tricks. So the first one is basket tunnel, the next trick is the hoop, after that is tunnel, the chimney, one of the really fun ones is limbo, then there's swallow. European football or soccer. In addition, we have uh, American football. And my personal favorite is actually the ring trick, the fetch trick. There has not ever been a fish that I couldn't train to do anything. So there are a lot of myths associated with goldfish and fish intelligence in general. Uh, the classic one is that uh, goldfish have only a three second memory. <laughs> clearly shown through what we've done with Comet and our other fish that this is not the case. Cunning Comet is training for the title of World's Smartest Fish in the Guinness Book of Records. To win his place, he must complete all nine tricks. Here we go, Comet. Good luck. Trick number one is basketball. Trick number two is
Get your home phone and unlimited internet for only $49.95 a month, plus up to six months absolutely free. Call right now and get free installation and pay no equipment rental fees. That's right. You get your home phone and unlimited internet for only $49.95 a month. Call Comwave now and get your home phone and unlimited internet for only $49.95 a month. And no more overage charges. Plus, up to six months absolutely free. Stop being pushed around by the big former cable companies. And push back with Comwave. Call 1-866-452-4918. That's 1-866-452-4918. Call now. What? Science is stupid. All new Monday at 9 on National Geographic. We've been looking out for your home videos of what animals get up to in their spare time. Meet Sam, a retired show donkey who is still up to his old tricks. This is one wonky donkey. Time for a trouble hunt. Sussex Spaniel has a job to do. She is starting her career as a truffle hunting hound in the first ever British Truffle Hunting Championship. She's been in training with Handler Sophie for two months. Today is not only about doing well in the competition, but bringing honor to her high achieving crux winning family. Nellie has never been a champion at anything. Oh, wow. Um, Nellie's feeling well. She's shaking. She's in the only Sussex Spaniel here, I think. So that's pretty special. Nellie's also representing the Sussex Spaniel population of Great Britain. And if she can pull off a good performance in the championships today, then she'll have earned the respect of her family as well. She's very different to all the others because this isn't exactly like a dog show. So she's actually got a job to do, something that's an occupation really. I think she's had it quite easy this until now, really but small. I do think she's going to be thrown into the deep end. Nellie might be the one who has to perform on cue, but this is also unknown territory for Sophie. I have no idea what's going to happen. Just go, go into flow. <sighs> she's trying to get ahead by sniffing out any rivals. <laughs> Apart from some obvious distractions, it's up in the air how Nellie will react in a competition. I'm not actually sure how she's going to do today because she's either focused and really wants to do well or she's not doing anything just, oh, I can't be bothered to do this. So like an on and off switch, she's either off or on. The anxious competitors wait while the chorus is prepared. Three expensive truffles are buried in the ground for the hopeful snufflers to find. Nervous Nellie and Sophie wait for their turn to truffle. It's the moment of truth. Will Nellie snuffle her way to doggy glory? It's time to meet the judge. The panel start their stopwatches. Nellie's not in the zone. Sophie is hoping for a very quick turnaround. Come on, Nellie. Come on, Nellie. Suddenly, Nellie flips on her switch and springs into action, scouting the area for the scent of truffles. There's no stopping her, and she's determined to find that elusive odor. She found her first truffle! Oh, well done. She's indicating that she found the truffle by sitting. Yeah. Nice. On to the next truffle. Nellie. successful sniffer, she has a chance at the truffle title. Nellie has found all three truffles in speedy 